This is what my edges used to look like when they were pretty damaged. And this is what my edges look like now. I laid them today specially for you. Here's the thing. The first thing you need to do to grow your hairline back, to get your edges back fast, it's something you might not think of. And this is covering up your edges is the first step in the wrong direction. Now I'm not saying lay your edges every day and show them to everyone to say, hey, look, these are my edges. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about finding all different ways of covering up edges using things like box braids, wigs, head wraps, anything that completely covers your edges at all times because yes, I understand having bad edges can be embarrassing and you want to do everything you can to cover them. But the reason I say this is the first step in the wrong direction is because usually all the measures you use to cover up your edges are the things that continue to damage your edges. Right now, there's a new craze of headband wigs, which are amazing to save time. If you're in a rush, you wanna hurry out, you've got a Zoom meeting, all you need to do is throw that headband on, you don't need to put any glue on, you, know, you don't need to do anything like that, you just put it on and you're done. But here's the thing, headband wigs still add friction, even things like hats still add friction to that area. So if it's once in a while, if you need to, you're in a hurry, you need to do it, go ahead and do that. But even a headband wig is probably less damaging than putting glue on your edges. And I mean like got to be glue, bonding glue, all that kind of stuff. It is less evasive than that but it still will damage your edges. And if you're trying to grow your edges back fast, I'm assuming your edges are either completely damaged or they're on their way to getting severely damaged. I promise you covering up is not going to help anything at all. My name is Angelica and I post healthy hair videos twice a week on Wednesdays and Sundays. And on Fridays, I put a fun video that you guys can vote for in the comment sections below, whatever you want me to post on Fridays. I will work on doing a video on that. So if that seems interesting to you, consider subscribing. The subscription button is right down there as well as the bell icon. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications every single time I post. Now I showed you what my edges used to look like before and I'm showing you what my edges look like now which is this. Now here's a comment I get. I have quite a bunch of videos. I have an entire playlist on how to grow your edges back fast and I will link it at the end of this video. But a comment I get a lot is, well, you look like you have your edges now. You look like your edges were not severely damaged before. How should I trust your opinion if you've never had bad edges? I think that's exactly why you should trust my opinion because I've never had horrible edges because I have never let my hair get to that point. The hair that you saw before, that was sort of the worst my hair had ever been. I had like a bald patch in this kind of section here and it's because I used to part my hair there all the time. I have mentioned these things in other videos, but I had like a little bit of a bald patch there. And when I used to wear weaves, the hair that was in the front of my hair, like a full inch of hair used to be about that long all the time because of the friction from wearing the wigs. That is the worst my hair has ever been. I have never gotten traction alopecia. I have never had my whole hairline recede back because as soon as I start to see damage, some of these tips that I'm sharing in this video and that I've shared before are the things I quickly implement to make sure that my edges get back to this state. So if that doesn't convince you enough, honestly, there's nothing I can do about that, but hopefully you can still hear these tips. Let's get into the second thing you can do to grow your edges and your hairline back fast. So this is something that's also very 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 maybe this is even the most important tip if you want to fix your edges you need to know what damaged your edges if you don't know what the problem is you will have no idea how to fix it i just told you previously that before i had very short hair on my hairline and i had a bald patch here and i know exactly what caused it every time i would part my hair ugh, the light keeps changing sorry i'm sure it's going to get a bit dark again every single time i would part my hair here it would look the best to me so i would always part my hair there and whenever i'm brushing it down and smoothing it down the hair would come out and I developed a little bit of a bald patch in this section. Then when I used to wear my wigs, or my, sorry, when I used to wear my weaves, I would always leave some hair out here and actually in the part as well, I would leave hair in the same place. And when I noticed that it was breaking, I would say, well, I'm going to use this same side because I don't want to break the hair on the other side of my head. So permanently I had a section of hair that was always damaged. So I knew, okay, if I want to stop this, eventually I'm going to have to stop wearing wigs for a while. I'm going to have to start Part, I'm gonna have to stop parting my hair in the same place all the time I'm going to have to make sure that my ends are trimmed in that section and I'm going to have to make sure I show extra care to the hair in that specific section so that is a great example so if you do anything damaging or if you've recently changed your diet and all of a sudden you're experiencing hair loss and it's going off your edges if you have alopecia areata if you have traction alopecia whatever it is I'm sure you know if you've never had energy 
edges before and it's literally a genetic thing then that's something completely different but if you've had them before and you've been damaging them whether it's for the past couple months or the couple years trust yourself just close your eyes and remember what exactly when did this issue happen and trust me even though you're in denial i'm sure you know exactly what caused your edges to be like that and if you don't know hopefully the rest of these tips can just help you anyway but figure out what damaged your edges and once you know exactly what that is it will push you in the right direction to use these tips properly and actually fix your edges let's get to the third thing you can do to grow your edges back fast okay so the third thing you can do to grow your edges back fast is a mixture of a do and a don't so this is to use growth stimulating hair oils on your edges you can use them on the rest of your hair as well but this is focused on the edges use growth stimulating essential oils because essential oils are what show the hair growth results the fastest like any kind of results you want to get from oils essential oils show results faster now here's the thing pure essential oils will have damaging effects so you always have to dilute them so the essential oils that are the best for hair growth especially on your edges are peppermint oil because it has growth stimulating properties it sends blood flow to your scalp when it's tingling and it just makes your, scal your scalp nice and refreshed and it really boosts hair growth then you have tea tree oil which is antibacterial and antimicrobial so if you wear anything like glues or anything that might just cause a little bit of bacteria that can be damaging on your hairline the tea tree oil is going to help kill that then we have rosemary oil which helps increase blood flow to your scalp it helps you have strong hair from the root all the way to the tip so these three oils together are a bomb now you can mix them into your favorite oil and I would suggest an oil that is very moisturizing although take note oils are not moisturizing let me say this again oils are not moisturizers but they can have moisturizing properties although they work best to seal in moisture so the best oils I can recommend are almond oil avocado oil macadamia oil olive oil those are my favorite ones now there are tons of other oils I don't recommend coconut oil only because it's one of the popular oils that don't work for everyone sometimes it works amazing for certain people for some people like me it works horribly wrong so you have a better chance of getting it right if you use an oil that usually works well for many people and olive oil avocado oil and almond oil usually work really well for a lot of people castor oil also helps thicken the edges but you want to make sure if you're going to be using it like every other day you don't want to put too much of it because if it makes your hair like over saturated with oils and it's like mushy it could actually lead to damage so if you're going to use castor oil it actually has amazing thickening properties but don't use pure castor oil if you're using castor oil like once a week then it's fine but if you're going to be using this often I would suggest you just dilute it into the rest of the oils I'm talking about you will see such a huge difference very fast if you use these essential oils but please use them properly and this is the don't part you might think well if I dilute it then it's diluted it probably doesn't work as effectively why don't i just put pure peppermint oil and pure tea tree oil on my scalp first of all it will probably feel really refreshing or it might feel like it's burning you either one some of them like rosemary oil will feel like nothing you're just like well i'm just gonna get the direct properties instead of diluting it no actually it doesn't work like that because eventually it is going to burn you it can cause scalp burns and it can cause long-term damage on your follicles so you want to make sure no matter Matter what you have to dilute it and this is the same point where I'm going to address all these popular things that keep coming out out of I don't know where that people are saying this will grow edges and these are things like Vicks, Monistat, um, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, Crisco. Here's the thing, those if you google any of those things like will vix boost my hair growth does it have properties? It has things like peppermint oil which can boost your hair growth, sure but everything else in the ingredients might be detrimental to your hair growth and it's not actually going to help you so if you find something that's popular for hair growth but it's not meant for your hair find the main ingredients in that formula that are actually meant to grow your hair and find them in an actual hair product or buy them individually so in something like Vicks or VapoRub or anything that's like um, something for your chest to open you up that's like a very menthol 
um, peppermint tea kind of thing usually the thing in there that will boost your hair growth is actually just the peppermint oil and everything else does nothing to your hair it only clogs your follicles and causes damage that you might not even know instead all you need to do is get pure peppermint essential oil and dilute it into whatever other oil you're going to use and you get the same benefit but most likely 10 times better than in one of those products some of those products may contain things like sulfur or anything like that it is best to get a product that is properly formulated for your hair with Without clogging your scalp because our hair is already thin and fine on our edges if you're clogging your scalp you're already reducing the amount of hair that you could potentially have so please don't try all these weird things on your edges just use what's actually meant for it the only things that are like DIYs that I would highly recommend in this instant is rice water because it helps prevent shedding it's very light it doesn't clog your pores or your follicles and so in that way it will actually boost your hair growth and help it become thicker that is the only DIY kind of thing I would highly suggest for your edges let's get on to the fourth thing you can do to get long thick healthy edges fast so I have an exhibit a of what can cause you to have damage permanent damage or temporary damage on your edges and this is laying your edges every single day now the reason I laid my edges today is because I'm doing an edges video and I didn't want people to be like well we can't even see your edges so how do we know if you actually have them here are my edges thick all the way back my hair is actually braided and it's been like a couple weeks so they're very frizzy that's why the braids are not out but you can see like all the way back my hairline is pretty full and so that is why I lay my edges and when I'm not going anywhere when I'm in the house I literally will never lay my edges and if I'm going out unless it's a specific style where I have to have my lay my edges laid I can literally tell you I only lay my edges about once every month or two months and i rarely rarely do it like i rarely lay my edges because i like to keep my edges i like to have them so that when i want to have them in a style i can lay them and do whatever i want and also it is very annoying when your hair grows really nice and long and then the hair in the front is very short there's nothing you can do because it's in the front of your head and it's just so hard to avoid it so avoiding doing this will actually prevent all that drama later on so do not lay your edges every day every week I know that sometimes we've been conditioned to say okay your edges should be laid and look neat and whatever can we just normalize having regular edges all you need to do is get the softest bristle brush that you have brush your hair up with whatever conditioner deep condition I mean whatever conditioner or moisturizer you're using and your edges are still going to look nice and laid and flat and if you have to lay them because you're wearing wigs the wig can be damaging your hair so that shouldn't even be part of the conversation now you might be saying but every time I lay my edges I use like a really soft brush and it doesn't damage my hair like I do it every day and my hair still looks fine most of the time well there's a chance that the damage is not something that you might see in two weeks you might see it in four months and then you're just like oh my god where did my edges go because even if you're using a soft brush brushing your hairs in the same direction every single day will cause extra shed hairs to come out it will cause ripping up the hair and also you don't just lay your edges by brushing them down you always add like a got to be glue spray got to be glue gel an edge control or a hair gel like just a regular eco styler gel and if you have any of those kinds of things they are naturally pretty drying or clogging on your hair and on your follicles and those can lead to damage so even if you're not being violent or anything when you're laying your edges it can still lead to damage and this is something that has really helped me I used to lay my edges a lot at one point and now that I don't do it anymore my edges are the fullest they've ever been and I really love the way they look so if that's something you're looking into I have done it myself I'm sure it's going to work for you as well let's get into the fifth thing you can do to get to grow your edges back fast so this is something that I think is very highly underrated and I don't see a lot of people talking about this especially when it comes to your edges and this is your diet having a good diet can actually really reflect on your edges because here's the thing I say this in a bunch of videos your hair is not a vital organ it is not essential if your body shuts down your hair has no use it just looks nice on your head there's literally nothing so if your lungs your kidneys any other part of your body is going through any kind of stress or damage your organs are going to rush to that place first or even if there's just not enough nutrients everything is going to go to the vital organs first and then the leftovers are going to go to the organs that are not so vital like your hair now your edges are the weakest part of your hair if your diet is very very bad or you 
you've just recently changed your diet, there's a chance that you might start losing hair and usually your hairline around your edges is the hair that's going to start going first and this is because it is the weakest hair that we have. It is usually a different texture, it is pretty fine, it is very delicate, it is right at the front of your hair where you have access to it every single day. So a bad diet can actually lead to horrible edges and the other thing is after you lose your edges, if your diet is bad, it's actually even harder for you to grow them back because it's not essential so like focus is not going to be on growing your hairline back there's just not enough nutrients to promote that so eating a lot of food that's rich in protein and a lot of vitamins and micronutrients those are actually really going to help i just recently did a video on moringa so you can check that out i'll link it in the eye right here moringa is something that's really good to add to your diet to boost your hair growth as well as as well as other protein rich foods like eggs and fish and whether you're vegetarian or vegan or you eat everything you'll be able to find something that will help your hair grow the sixth tip and the final tip but do not worry we do have a bonus the sixth tip is something that is another tip i think is very very highly overlooked and this is doing protective styles wrong now you know i always say if you want to keep your edges don't do tight box braids don't do senegalese twists don't do maasai twists like i tell you all the wrong things to do but here's the thing sometimes you might be doing the correct protective style like a perfect the right protective style and it's still wrong if you it still damages your edges and that might be that the protective style you're doing it's either you're not taking care of your hair while it's while it is in the protective style for example cornrows i always wash my hair in the cornrows and I, there's a whole detangling process that i go through to make sure it works but here's another thing a lot of people protective style in box braids and box braids can be amazing if you get the correct amount of hair if they're loose but if they are too heavy and you use too much braiding hair, they can literally rip your hair out. And that is actually detrimental. It's something that might not help. So if you're not sure if the braids will be too heavy or not or whatever, maybe just go to a different protective style so you don't have to guess. Because like I said, your edges are right in the front of your hair. And also if you give up quickly, you don't have patience. Honestly, I know a bunch of people who do this every time. They're like, I stopped, I did everything you said. I stopped doing the styles that were damaging my hair. I improved my diet. I stopped laying my edges every day. And my hair just grew back like a little bit. And then nothing really happened. So then I'm just going back. And then they go back to all the same hairstyles that were damaging their hair. And it just takes you back even further than you were before. So then when you try again, you think what you're doing is not working. So be patient and implement everything properly. And you start to see big changes now the bonus thing that can help you grow your edges back fast is your genetics yes I'm bringing it up because someone always says it and so I will always address it here's the thing your genetics will play a role in how thick or full your hairline will be if you've never had thick full edges you probably will never have thick full edges but you can get them to the fullest potential that you can get if you have something like alopecia which is an autoimmune disease you have to speak to a doctor specifically to help you with that if you look at someone and say well if you look at me and say well you have full edges because genetically you have thicker hair and you have fuller edges and mine are naturally thinner what are you gonna do about it there's literally nothing you can do about genetics aside from implement tips that can help you if your hair is naturally thin and no matter what you do that's your genetic makeup there's nothing you can do so i think genetics are not something that you should focus on when you're trying to get your hair back the only thing genetics are useful for are if your edges have always been thin from the, the time you were a child and even at their fullest they're still slightly thin all you can do is make sure that you don't shed as much hair you keep as much edges as possible and focus on them you saying well my genetics will never make me have fuller hair like yours that's not gonna do anything for you if you say well even if i damage my hair my my genetics usually makes my hair grow back faster it might not grow back faster this time you know what i mean so here's the thing you you can literally not change anything about your genetics your genetics are your genetics so complaining about it or being happy about it whatever it's not going to change anything at all and that's why I don't say it's a big factor in terms of how I can help you there's nothing I can do to help you change your genetic makeup all I can do is help you with whatever you have so if you have naturally thin hair you can help it be the best that it can be if you have naturally thick hair 
you can maybe not take advantage of you having naturally thick hair and thinking it's just gonna stay like that because when it gets damaged you might just be like oh maybe something else has just gone wrong because naturally I have four edges and maybe there's a problem so unless you have some kind of sickness that's genetic that's when it can apply to you and you can seek medical help but when it comes to hair growth tips there's nothing you can do about your genetics so just focus on getting the best out of your own hair and you have thick full edges if you want more videos about edges and growing long healthy hair hit my face right there if you didn't subscribe in the beginning hit the bell right down there if you didn't hit my face there to subscribe to my other channel watch the two videos on the side of the screen right here if you'd like to see any of my older videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye